ShadCN UI has been taking over the web dev industry. And with this new release, it's looking like it's going to get even further. I am so hyped with all the work Shad and crew have been putting into this project, and I am really hyped about what they've just added. I'm already a pretty big user, and if you want to hear more about why I'm so hyped on Shad, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to make that video soon. But for now, I just want to talk about what's changing, because there's some really cool stuff in this release. Without further ado, let's take a look. The latest ShadCN release. The main exciting thing in this release, since they're a component library, is the new components. And there's some really cool, elaborate stuff here. First, we have a carousel. Yes, finally, a carousel as part of Shad UI. This is really exciting stuff to finally have. And as per always, this isn't a library you install and depend on a bunch of dependencies of. This is source code that you can copy. And it's really nice to give you all of the source code and the React stuff you need in order to build this correctly and that when you add it to your app, it works as you expect. It's built on top of the Embla carousel, which is a lightweight carousel library with fluid motion and great swipe precision. That's dope, because that means it will work well on mobile too. And again, like you could go build this yourself, and I'm sure a lot of people will, and many of them probably should, but there are really good standardized solutions for so many problems, from all the weird accessibility stuff Radix does to all the weird touch behaviors that Embla Carousel probably does. Having Shad standardize all of these with reusable components that live in your code base, not this library, gives you both the benefits of these standards and the flexibility of having your own components. I also added a drawer. The drawer is super compelling as well. Making a good drawer component that slides up at the bottom, that has the right behaviors on mobile where you can slide it down when it's done and it feels good with these big cancel and submit buttons all handling like page layout sizing and shit properly is obnoxious. And look at how smooth that is. That's dope. Good stuff. Very exciting. They also have pagination, which crazy enough, they didn't have before. Previously, you would have to define these things yourself. I know I've had to build a lot of pagination components in my time, and it's really nice to see someone build a generic that I don't have to worry about anymore. Kind of funny that when I clicked that, it just brought me to the top of the page, but really nice that they've built proper pagination, all necessary behaviors, as well as letting you bring in your own link components when you use it. Really, really cool stuff. Dope to see. We also have a resizable, and I have feelings because doing resizability properly in React is a thing I have a lot of experience with. If you haven't already watched my video about the coolest project I ever built, the vast majority of that project was making good resizable behaviors with drag and drop on top of it inside of React. I'll quickly show you. This is mod view. This is one of the most absurd drag and drop experiences I know of in modern web. This whole UI is customizable. I can hide the sidebar. I can move things different places, resize them, grab things from the sidebar, move things to the sidebar, drag them around the sidebar. And getting all of these behaviors correct was incredibly difficult. But as a result, we built an awesome user experience that, as far as I'm concerned, hasn't been taught by any moderation tools to date. We built this because moderators have a lot of needs and we needed to solve those as best we could. The, the library we built a lot of this with, React Mosaic, I had to fork and build a ton of stuff on top of to make this work at all. And now it's just a component that's built into Shad UI that does most of this work for you. And again, the code is there for you to grab as you need it. This default UI resizable bit is in your own code base. You have the ability to use it however you want, change it however you need and build something really, really cool. And it's all built on top of React resizable panels by Brian Vaughn, who is an absolute legend, mostly known for building the React DevTools Chrome extension. Now he's at Replay, helping build really deep developer tools for React. Wonderful dude, incredibly talented engineer. He built one of the best ways to do resizable panels. And now there's an abstraction as part of Shad UI. Super dope. And now we have Sonner. I don't quite know what Sonner is, but what I do know is it's really good toast notifications. So if I click this, we get this really fancy, nice, slow pop up of the toast with good behaviors for hiding it and getting rid of it. You can even see this button has an on click for toast. Event has been created, description, action, label, on click, all of those things. Really good stuff. A lot of these behaviors that are hard to get right, especially once you're dealing with mobile, have been solved. Oh, open multiple. Oh, okay. I see why you said to do that. Do you see how good that looks? Oh, God. Yeah. That's really fucking good. I'm sorry. I did not expect that to be that good. But again, that, this is the benefit of Shad UI and the whole Shad CM package is all of these things are done well, tastefully and correctly. They don't have much personality. That's the big thing you're missing here. If you want a website that stands out, this isn't the way to do that. But this is all of the pieces you need to make something great. And I, you have no idea how hard it is to build these things correctly unless you've done it. 
Having this all as part of something you can just NPM install is incredible. Also, of note, you just watched it in a 30 FPS video. It looks really good on this 120 FPS screen. Enough about the components, because they also did some pretty big changes to the CLI. I think the CLI was an incredible addition to Shad CN, because previously you would copy paste the components into your code base yourself. Once V0 was introduced, which if you're not already familiar, I have a whole video about it. It's Vercel's AI generation for components. This needed to have a good way for you to have all the necessary files from Shad CN UI when you make something. Thing. So like if I click on an example here, you'll see in the code, a lot of the stuff here is coming from at slash components slash UI. These are all shad UI things. Now that there's a CLI and that can be called and included as part of the V0 command, they're able to generate any of the missing pieces that you might not have in your code base yet. But again, these are in your code base. These aren't packages being imported. It's a CLI running to create the files necessary in your code base. So you still own it. And I think it's really cool they made that a CLI. So now you can install and add specific components that you're missing without having to copy paste a bunch of different code. It also allows for these components to have different levels of complexity, different levels of importing behaviors and all done properly with just running a command. The CLI was not the best experience when I tried it. It made some assumptions about where things were that were incorrect. I think it can do that better with inference, but at the time it was still revolutionary and I'm really excited to see how it iterates. So let's see what they've added. You can now configure a custom Tailwind prefix and the CLI will automatically prefix your utility classes. That's really nice. So if you only want Tailwind for these things, or if you want to integrate it with something else like DocuSource or Nextra, it's much easier to do that if you can automatically apply a prefix to all of the things that you need. The CLI can now also detect tailwind config TS, which is nice because a lot of these things miss the fact that your tailwind file might be in TypeScript. They fix that and they also add the TypeScript version of the config. Good stuff. This is a huge update and I am genuinely really hyped. I'll be using a lot of these components for a lot of different things. And unlike other things when they update, we don't have to go and refactor a bunch of stuff or install this new package and deal with a bunch of breaking things. The change is there are now additional components you can use. And that's really cool because Shad CN UI isn't your traditional library, it's a pile of components to help you get started and build better applications faster. If you wanna hear more about why I think Shad CN UI is so cool and different, let me know in the comments, I'll do a whole dedicated video about it soon. But for now, I want you to see these updates because I am really hyped. Thank you guys as always. If you wanna hear me talk about CSS more, I'll pin that video in the corner here. Good to see you as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace nerds.